All right, in this one, we're gonna do UV unwrapping. I only have time to do one piece. You can follow the same principle with all the other pieces, but I will deliver every UV unwrap as soon as possible. But I need to deliver something, get momentum going. So sorry that I haven't posted anything recently. Anyways, over here, you wanna to switch to your UV editor. Over here, you are in your 3D viewport. And let me just turn on my keystrokes so you can see what I'm pressing. And here's our timeline that we don't really make use of when it comes to UV unwrapping. And in fact, our UV editor is more important. But before we begin, let's just hide everything we're not gonna be working with in this tutorial. We're gonna un UV unwrap this piece and it's not as simple as it seems. So if we can select it and we don't see it here. You'll only see it if you press tab edit mode and then it pops up and you wanna go into wireframe mode and select everything. Now you can see the entire UV unwrap. If you don't, you can press U and click unwrap, and then you'll see this. Currently, it doesn't look right, it's messy, it's overlapping, and this is not what we want for a good UV unwrap. Now, you can also choose faces here, and if you press U, you can choose smart UV unwrap, and you can choose an angle, and then you can just press OK, and it tries to fill it up as nicely as possible, but it's still not right. So. Before we continue, let's go in solid view mode. Let's select this over here. I've got edge select. You can press one, two, or three to choose which selection mode, and we do change between them. So we're gonna select just this face here, press X and delete this face. We'll do the same to the other side, X delete this face. And currently the issue we have, press two to be in edge select, holding Alt and select this outer room. Currently, if we press F, we'll have exactly what we had before, but we don't want that because it's part of the reason why we're getting a messy UV unwrap, Control Z to delete. We could go to face, fill, but it's filling it with triangles, triangular shapes. And as great as this is, it is nice and useful sometimes, but you often run into all sorts of problems and errors. It's always best to work in quads. Uh, for modeling and for UV um, edit, unwrapping and stuff like that. Just stick to quads, so that's the general rule. So we're not happy with this, we'll press Control Z. We're gonna pre you can also press F now, and if you want quads, you have to use Gridfall. If we use Gridfall, we're gonna run into this error over here. And the reason being is that we have a lot more uh, geometry on this bottom face compared to this top face. So we wanna make sure the top face has just as much geometry as the bottom face. So we're gonna press three to choose face select, choose the top face, and pr put your mouse mouse to the edge there and press Control R and scroll up. And from the looks of things, we need five cuts. Click, click. Now we have as many cuts here as we do over here. And now that you have that, you can press Alt and select everything here. Click on Face and click on Grid Fill. And just like that, that's looking a lot neater. Now, whatever you do, don't forget to do the other side immediately as well. Just press Alt, Face, Grid Fill. And now when we go into edit mode and we select everything, this is what we have. It's still a mess, so we could press U, unwrap. Nothing much really happens, but if you use smart unwrap, we can make it look a lot neater. And that's close to as good as we're gonna get it, but let's try and play with this and get it better. Now we could choose an active quad. We could press U and say, follow. currently this is the active quad. Or we could say we could click over here, choose this, and we could choose an active quad that we want to work with. And we could say we wanna work with this one over here as our active quad. Then you can press U, follow active quads, press OK, and we get this shape. Or we can say we wanna work with this, U, follow active quads, and press OK. And I think you get the idea. And the idea that you really want is to try and get it as thin as possible, as straight of a line as possible. Follow active quads. And if you're not having luck, um, smart UV unwrap is relatively safe. And you can change the, the percentage Maybe 30 is okay with you, and you'll do that. And the, the other thing you wanna do is you wanna use as much space as possible. So, according to this, if we never had this side here, this would look a lot neater. But anyways, um, perhaps if we create a seam, this will look a lot better. So let's create a seam on the edge here. Let's press two to choose edge. Select this edge over here, hold and shift, select this edge, hold and shift, select this edge. So we've got all these edges selected, which is very important. And with those edges selected, you wanna press, um, click on edge, and you don't wanna create an edge crease, you don't wanna mark sharp, you wanna mark a seam. Now, if you mark the seam, it looks like this. And now when you select everything, 
and uh, you press you can see where where the edge is most likely you can press U smart UV unwrap 30 degrees smart UV up let's try 66 don't think it'll change much I ah, just changed it a little bit or we can say you know what now that we've got this selected let's press three over here and you kind of just have to play around with this until you get it so we're selecting this shift and then we're selecting everything else and then we're pressing U uh, follow active quad and if that didn't work you can always press this one here select all of this U follow active quad and it's it's kind of tricky to get the the, the the desired result so I'm gonna stick in this example I'm gonna stick to a smart UV unwrap and although although I'm not happy with this let's try and just change this a bit smart UV unwrap and make this maybe 90 there we go I'm a little bit more happy with this although it doesn't look great control Z now we can choose this and you can hold in shift and select all of this and perhaps you if you want to UV unwrap it based on the active quads or based on the smart UV unwrap you can also choose to scale to bounds to use as much of the space as possible which we'll do in this example all right we are pretty much done with this one over here it's UV unwrapped and now we can move on to the next one let's do the hands so let's select the hands go into edit mode and this one has crazy geometry so the first thing we want to do because of all these bevels ooh, all right so the first thing we want to do is create a seam press 2 holding alt and that creates a seam all the way around like that take a look over here maybe you have less used less geometry if you've got clipping like I do press N go to view and make it 0 0.0001 so now when you zoom in it's not going to clip like that I'm going to hold in shift I'm going to press N to minimize that I'm going to hold in shift and alt and select that these triangle triangles over here which is no good it's kind of messing with my quads or else it would have gone all the way around but because I have these silly triangles yeah just shows you that my model is a little bit inefficient because we shouldn't have triangles we could fix this but uh, I don't think uh, you want me to spend an hour making micro fixes like that that don't necessarily have a great payday all right so we've selected this entire room and we can press go to edge mark seam seam is marked wireframe mode select everything now with everything selected let's press U smart UV unwrap U make the 66 now everything is in its bounds which looks quite nice let's try U let's select an active quad currently we don't have an active quad selected but you know, we can definitely when we clean this up for game asset we'll make this look a lot add a lot less geometry hold in shift and just select the part there there we go we've got active quad and now you can press U follow active quads that's a mess just for convenience I'm going to you can also unwrap Let's see if it fixes itself all right let's select everything I think it just glitched out there okay cool so I'm gonna to stick to pressing U smart UV unwrap let's just choose the angle where we think it will look the best U smart UV unwrap let's do 45 
u swat uv unwrap. What does one give us? U smart UV unwrap. Yeah, so based on this, we're just going to press U smart UV unwrap and keep this on 66, which I think is the default amount. And there you go. We have our entire thing neatly packed out, which is not too bad. And we can do pretty much the same thing with the rest. So let's open up another piece the arms. Tab, object mode, select the arms tab, edit mode, select everything. Well, that already looks neat enough to me. Oh, it doesn't, it's overlapping. Okay, now we can just press U, smart UV unwrap. Or we can choose follow active quads. Perhaps we choose a different quad, maybe this one over here. Click U, follow active quads. U. Follow active quads. That's not a quad. That's the problem. So a lot of cleanup that we should be doing that we are frankly not doing. U, smart UV unwrap. Let's do 90. U, smart UV unwrap. 30. Every piece is a lot more easier to distinguishable there, but let's do U, smart UV unwrap and let's just leave it on 66. Just leave it like that. Let's get the next piece, which I guess is tab object mode, this piece over here. This one isn't so important, but uh, let's do it. Tab edit mode, perfect already, because it's a basic shape, it kind of packs it out nicely. All right, next piece, tab object mode, let's select this, tab edit mode. And we've got everything selected. U smart UV unwrap 66. And you get all the sides much neater without missing anything. Quite happy with that. Let's get to the next piece. Tab, tab object mode, select this tab, edit mode. Select everything. U smart UV unwrap. Follow active quads. Currently it won't work because we never selected an active quad. So if you're into that, make sure you always select an active quad. Now we can press U, follow active quads. And I somehow prefer this, but we just need to get this out the way. U, smart UV unwrap. What if we make this one? I prefer that. Everything is perfectly in it by its bounds. All right, let's get to the next piece. Tab object mode, select the torso, tab edit mode, select everything. See, that's pretty perfect to me. Now you could press U, it's currently already unwrapped, or you can say U smart UV unwrap, one degree, it looks like that, or you could say smart UV unwrap, uh, I believe 90 would be a relatively good result, or we should be a triangle of sorts. No, interesting. U, unwrap. Okay. U, uh, follow active quads. Currently, we don't have a quad selected. Okay, it won't work, so we have to select a quad. Oh, that looks pretty good. U, follow active quads. Smart UV unwrap, 66. Ah, I'll leave it like that. Uh, let's do the next piece. I think that's it. That's all the pieces. So we've unwrapped everything in this tutorial. We kind of rushed through it. I promise to put in a lot more care in future videos. I think we just left out the hair, the headpiece. Let's find out which one it was. I believe it was this one. There we go. So let's select that. Tab, edit mode. 
And this one, I need to reduce the geometry when I get a chance. Go into wireframe mode, select everything. See, that's way too much geometry, I feel, especially if you want to use it for a game engine. Smart UV and wrap 66, and you've got that. Or we can press U. Follow active quad. We haven't selected active quad. Let's, uh, let's select one quickly. There we go. Follow active quads. And if you get something like this, and you did follow active quads, another quick tip is to change to vert. Select these two verts, holding in shift, and then press S, X, zero, no, S, Y, zero, S, Y, zero. Do the same over here. Select these two bits, S, Y, zero, and then select this piece here. And then, now that you've got a, a perfect rectangle, you can press um, U, follow active quads, and it will automatically look a lot neater. And perhaps you want to use this piece, it's even nicer, U, follow active quads. But uh, I think you get the idea. But in this case, just to save some time, I'm going to use use that cool anyways i hope you enjoyed this tutorial i'll see you in the next one and i hope you hopefully you've, if you've never used uv unwrapping before hopefully you've learned a thing or two about uv unwrapping